Hey y'all, welcome back. Welcome back to Jackie's World. Happy Sunday, y'all. Happy Sunday. So I'm in the kitchen, right? And I just want to show y'all what I got from the dollar store, okay? You want to set the table with me today? Come on in here and set the table. So I said I wasn't cooking after today, y'all. So I got to tell y'all a story while I'm, um, I'm going to show y'all what I bought. Then I'm going to tell y'all a little bit of the story. Y'all know I always got a story, right? So y'all, I went to church this morning to my regular church. And, I, um, you know, the, the message was about Ruth. So, so we in the first book of Ruth, okay? And they was talking about, you know, Naomi and her husband and how he had passed away. And then um, Naomi's children passed away. And what she had was a daughter-in-law of Ruth and the... Well, I forgot the other lady's name. But anyway, if you want to read for yourself, it's Ruth, the first chapter, verses, I believe it was 1 through 10. Anyway, you can read it for yourself. So then, y'all, I went to a second service at another church. And that was a blessing. So while I was up there um, at this other church, y'all, why they had a dollar store right down the street, you already know your girl had to go in there. And I said I wasn't going to do no shopping, right? Because, you know, I stayed in all day yesterday. But I had to get out and just look around in the dollar store. So let me show you what I bought. So I'm going to show you this first. Okay, look at it. Spread love. Spread love, y'all. So you remember I had got the first box, and that box said, thinking of a master plan. This box is about spreading love. I'm going to put something in there, too. I got something to put in there, too. So look. Now this, this ain't nothing but some old bootleg coffee creamer. You don't need me to see that, right? And, um, Poway. But anyway, y'all, I had put my um, turkey wings on this morning before I even left out and went to church. That was smart thinking because they smelling some kind of good. I put them in the crock pot this morning, y'all. Y'all want to see them? You think you want to see them? I don't know. I might take them out. I might not. So then I had got these, um, I got these little butterflies. Ain't they cute, y'all? And I said I was going to put them on the table. They little stickers. I said I was going to put them on the table when I set the table up, okay? And I got this um this silver one today because I had bought remember when I had bought another um hand towel when I was in the dollar store that one day and I think it was silver and white or whatever. I'm gonna look in this bag and see. So then look, this is a little journal. Okay, and I watched this lady. You know, I watch a lot of YouTube, but her name is Terry Um Floyd Savelle. Her father is Jerry Savelle. Okay, and she talks about having a, um, you know, journal, making a vision board. Well, she wants you to buy her vision board, but, you know, have your own vision for your life, right? So I'm like, you know what, right. So, and I'm talking about her to say something else. Okay, so she was talking about, um, you know, doing a 30-day challenge about speaking positive words over your life and what you want to happen in your life, right? So I was like, oh, no, I can't do 30 days, so I'm going to do seven days. So I'm going to try to be seven days positive and don't complain about nothing. Y'all heard me? Y'all want to do it with me? So when I got to the second service at the other church, the pastor spoke that out of his mouth about trying to do seven days with no complaining and speaking out positive things over your life. And when you go to complain, just start to pray. Y'all, I was like, that was confirmation for real, for real. So anyway, I just thought this little journal was cute, right? And I was like, you know, I could just journal. I'm not a big journaler. But I feel like you don't like if I'm in a bad mood and feeling bad. So, of course, I ain't going to be doing now. Starting today, I'm going to have to start trying to do every day something positive, right? We're going to do that. But I always thank God every time I get up in the morning. Anyway, sad, mad, glad, don't matter. Tired, don't matter. Y'all, and look what else I found. Let me show you this. So, why I had to get both of these, because I didn't know which one I wanted. This one said, embrace all that is you. Embrace all that is you. So embrace all that is you. So whatever it is about yourself, embrace everything. I don't care what you don't like. Embrace it, okay? Y'all, they have so much cute little stuff. Look at this, mom. Give it to God. All oh, this from the dollar store. And look. I said, look, I got too much stuff. So this one got a little scripture in it too, y'all. See it? Blessed is she who believed that the Lord would fulfill his promises to her. Luke 145. Then look at that little pencil. The little pencil in the pie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she a big kid. Look, and I can put that in my little spread the love box, right? Boom. So I put this over my little counter. Open it up. And I'm 
Want for something in there. I can put love notes in it to myself. Love notes to myself. Love notes to my kids. Hello, somebody. Hello. And then this is just the little disposable wipes. They have these disposable washcloths. I was like, I'm gonna try them. You know, sometimes you get all sweaty and everything. Yo, know, that ain't nothing but a box of um, Irish spray. So, let me see if I got this. Um, wait a minute, y'all. I'm gonna step out the camera for a second. Let me see if I got this um, hand towel that I was talking about. Uh oh, y'all. I'm dropping my yo yo. Y'all know I never be open up that yo yo. Oh, sure. Don't. Look at this. Remember this? This been sitting in the bag. Enjoy the journey. This been sitting in the bag over there to itself. So, we're going to set that up today. Let's set the table up today. Y'all ready? Oh, y'all want me to show you all those turkey wings before I get started. Wait a minute. I'm going to show y'all. They looking good. They looking good. They look good. Let me let me move my boxes out the way first. So, we won't get nothing on them. Let me move my tablecloth out the way. So we won't get nothing on the tablecloth and stuff. Wait a minute, y'all. Let's see if I can get these out of here. Let's see, let's see, y'all. Y'all, look at this. They might be on too long. Can y'all see them? Can y'all see them in there? Wait a minute. Matter of fact, you know what? We put them in the pan, wrap them up, put them in the oven. Ain't that right? Ain't that right, 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 right. I got a little pan right here somewhere, y'all. I done used up all my pans in the... Um... Wait a minute. I wanted to say this one for the children, but I'm, I'm going to use that. I have to buy them another one for their cinnamon rolls again. Because they need to come out this oil anyway. This pan needs to be washed. But that way, I'll show y'all what these looking like before we set the table together. So I just did um, barbecue turkey wings this morning, y'all. I was trying to go so fast because I woke up early and then, y'all, I, I wanted to go back to sleep. I tried to go back to sleep. Couldn't go back to sleep right. And I was like, oh, dude. Let me hurry run downstairs and throw these in the crock pot. So all I got to do is make two sides to go with them, y'all. And that's it. Boom. Look how fast is that. They're looking good. What y'all think? Y'all see that? Y'all think about the turkey wing. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let me try a little piece for y'all. Let me try a little piece. I'm going to wrap them up and stick them up. Well, I got too much stuff up in this door. I can't get my door open. What did I do? Uh oh. Let's go and see. Let's see a little piece. That's really not supposed to be on the video. This is really not supposed to be on the video, boy. I said, let me show y'all. Little tiny though. Little tiny. I put the um that dollar store barbecue sauce in there. But you should have been fine though. I'm gonna the sauce a little bit tiny, but it's okay. We're going we're gonna to go with the tininess. I don't care if I got to put a little extra sauce on it. But it's good. It's nice and good. It's done. Good. We got it. Let's wipe this off. Y'all got too much stuff on here, don't we? Come on. We're going to set this table together. Y'all, so then, right, I wanted to go in some more stores, but I was like, no, I ain't spending no money today because I spent enough money in, this, in the dollar store. I think I spent, what, $12 or something? Something like that. That wasn't bad. But you know what? I was looking at Dave Ramsey, too. And he was talking about saving your money. And I said, I'm going to start trying to do that. You know, even though it's dollar store stuff. You know, that stuff is get to get to be expensive, too. You know what I mean? Let me try and get in the camera. Is it in the camera? All right. Okay. Let's set, this. set it up. Y'all, so then on my way home, I said I had to stop and get some gas, right? So it said five cents or a gallon of gas if you get if you pay cash. So I went in there to pay to get twenty-five dollars worth, right? And when I got in there, it was a foreigner, an Indian guy, and an African guy, right? 
And he, I said, is five cents on them? Right? They said, yes. And he said, how you doing today, ma'am? I said, I'm good. How you doing today? And he said, you so pretty. And I was like, oh, God, thank you. Right? Wait a minute, y'all. Mind if I said, she always set her dollars to a table. Yes, I am always setting my dollars to a table. Yes, I am. I don't even think I got it just right today. I'm trying to get it right, y'all. I'm, I'm thinking about taping it on there. Not right now, but. Anyway, so it wasn't even, it didn't even come out to the, um, to the cents off. Because I told him, I said, the cents ain't coming off because it's supposed to be 389 it's saying three ninety four, so that five cents is not coming off of that. So they come out there, both of them come out the gas station, and they say, um, "Oh, okay, but we'll pump the gas and let's see." So I started pumping the gas, and I said, "It still ain't doing nothing." So the guy comes up, the, the Indian guy comes up and start talking. And he said, "You a real good lady. You a real nice lady." And you you a good person. You a good person. I said, oh, "Okay, how you know that?" He said, I, "I can see it on you, right?" So I said, okay. He said, well, since it didn't come off, I'm gonna give you five dollars for your um for your gas. And I said, no, you ain't gotta do that. You ain't gotta do that. So he opens up his wallet, goes to the African guy, and give him five dollars. And I'm telling him no. So he goes in there and put five dollars prepaid on my gas pump, and said, there it is, right there for you to get the five dollars. I said, well, how you know that I'm a good lady? You don't know. He said, yeah, I can read your face. He said, you always smiling, and you always trying to be nice to somebody. And people like you, don't they? And I said, yeah, most of the time. So and he just kept on talking. And he was like, um, and don't even worry about it. He said, because guess what? The Lord going to bless me. Y'all, what? I said, you know, you know, that's right. I know that's right. He said, so I'm blessing you because my God going to bless me. Mm. Y'all, y'all. I said, thank you. And when I left out of there, I said, thank you, God. Thank you. Because I was like, you know what? I ain't even had a lot of money for gas. And I, I was, I didn't know what I was going to put in there or whatever. But you know what? God is good. I ain't lying. He's so good. He's so good. You know, and you got to do people right. You know what I mean? Sometimes I might be having a bad time, a bad day and stuff like that or whatever. But it's all in what you do to people. And all I did was smile and say hello. Because he said hello. I said hello. How y'all doing and everything? That's how I do anyway, y'all. But God is so amazing. You know, he ain't got to do nothing. He just good all by himself. You know what I'm saying? So y'all gonna put these little stickers on the table and say, she crazy. But anyway, I just had to tell y'all that because I said, well, I want to bless somebody with the, you know, tell them it's all in what you do. You know, even though you feel like a lot of times stuff is going bad, right? And why me? And why come in my life that went like this? You know, like why I got divorced and everything. And that's what the pastor was saying today too, right? Y'all putting these, um, I'm taking, trying to put the stickers on the table. I'm going to let y'all see when I get finished. But he was talking about people falling, you know, a lot of people falling away from the church because they was doing the right thing, but the stuff in their life didn't go right. And they was praying and everything. And he was talking about, look at Naomi. She lost her husband. She lost her sons. And, you know, but that, she, that didn't stop her from, from staying with God. That did not stop her from still serving God. And she told her daughters-in-laws to go on back to their family, right? But Ruth decided to stay with her to the end. And Ruth was blessed and she was blessed, y'all. That's what I'm saying. You know, sometimes I feel like that, like, oh, everything is going bad. You know, the world is bad. Everything is bad. You know, God, I don't know what I'm going to do. These, you know, with so much stuff going on in the earth, the economy bad. You know, money funny. Everything, you know what I mean? But then when you hear somebody else's story, oh my God, you, you just got to sit on down somewhere. It's just like, you think you got a terrible. When I was listening to Dave Ramsey last night, this lady had lost her husband. He, he uh, passed away in a tragic accident at work. And uh, then she had fell behind on her house payment. She lost the car and her husband was only 39 years old. And she was only like 40 something. It had been a couple of years, and they was getting ready to take her house. And Dave Ramsey said, no, don't you, you take a couple of deep breaths. They're not going to take your house. We're going to make sure they don't take your house. She was only behind like five payments, y'all. But they was, they was trying to foreclose on her house. And I said, my God. 
sometimes you think you got it so bad because of your little sadness or whatever because you miss your somebody, your family, your ex-husband, ex ex wife, ex girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever. But sometimes people got it so much worse because them people gone on. You hear me? They gone on. But y'all, I was like, wow. That I mean, it just touched me. Let me turn my coffee bottle off. And I was sitting there thinking, like, Lord, I ain't got no reason to be complaining. But y'all thought to myself today, you know, God is good no matter what's going on. Because, y'all, even though I'm sad and lonely and everything, right? It's good to be by yourself sometimes because, and I've said this before, but you know what I thought to myself today? I still love my ex-husband. It's only been a year. We was together 25 years. And I said, you know what? Even though he's gone on with his, with his business, about his business or whatever, I said, Lord, take the time and, and heal me right. Don't let me do anything that's not right. So this might be for somebody who don't know why I'm going as far as saying all that, but, you know, take time to, to let the Lord heal you. Let him work on your life. You know, every time I think of getting one saying something else, it turned the other way, right? But God turned the other way. He turned it. He turned it. All right, y'all. So can y'all see my little, um, I keep trying to move the thing back. I ain't got my stuff set up right today. Y'all see those butterflies on there? Y'all see those butterflies on there? Butterfly in the sky. I can go twice as high. Take a look. It's in a book. A really rainbow. I can go anywhere. Y'all know why that came out my mind. Reading rainbow. Y'all remember that when we was kids. So anyway, y'all, I came on to set the table to talk to y'all, to bring y'all some some love. Y'all see my pants say love. My little box say love. Show some love. Show some love. Bring y'all a little love today. Bring y'all a little laugh today. Bring y'all something special. Happy Sunday again. I pray that you had a blessed, wonderful, beautiful day today. And you enjoy the rest of your day. And even if you don't enjoy it like you want to, try to do something positive. Say positive things. Go look up that lady. Google. I mean, not Google. I said Google. YouTube. Terry. Um, I think her name is Terry Savelle Foy. But, but you know, her father is Jerry Savelle. You know, they're Christian people. But go, just go YouTube and put that in there. Um, Gordon Ramsay, if you want to worry about, you know, think about saving money and stuff. I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to try to do better. Because it's not all about shopping. You have to actually, um, I thought about something today. You know what? A lot of times we don't take our time and let the Lord, like, really speak to us and, and use us to heal our, heal our hurts. You know what I'm saying? You're trying to, trying to jump from one thing to the next. Because I even told my ex-husband that today when I seen him at church. I said, you know, I wish I was like you and I could move on real fast. You know what he said to me? He said, no, you don't. You got to be you. Because guess what? Even though you moved on to somebody else, you can still think about what you had before. Hello, somebody. Hello, somebody. Sometimes we move too quickly. What they say? Uh, move your feet, lose your seat. What they say? Move your seat, move your feet, lose your seat. <laughs> Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Anyway, sometimes you got move. You move too fast. Slow down. And what God say? Be still and know that I'm God. Sometimes we got to slow down and be still, okay? And what did I always say? Take each day as it comes. We're going to try to do that seven-day challenge. Seven-day challenge, we're going to speak positive. We're trying to think positive. No, no matter what's going on, I don't care what's happening. When you go to say something negative, turn it off. Turn it off. What your mom used to say, if you can't say nothing, something nice, don't say nothing at all. Hello, somebody. All right, y'all. I'm done talking y'all head off. Hope you enjoyed this um, video. Hope you got something out of it, even though I wasn't cooking. But you'd have seen enough cooking videos this week. Hello, somebody. All right, y'all. So keep commenting in the box. Keep subscribing. Keep liking. I think I switched up the little hand things, didn't I? Anyway, <laughs> keep it going, y'all. I got to drink my coffee. I've been out too long. So guess what? I'm ready to sit back, drink my coffee, and chill. All right, y'all. See you next time on Jackie's World. Mwah.